Hello everyone, welcome to Todo Fine, the online magazine of Fine Tune English. I am Romina and I will be hosting this video that was made especially for you. We are going to share with you some English words that you probably didn't know. Then we have a funny sketch about the difference between the students in the past and now. In our cultural section, we are going to talk about an older tradition of Loja. Finally, we also have an entertainment segment about an interesting movie. Hi again, I am going to talk about the strange words with their meaning. Googly gook. This word is used to refer to something as absurd or complicated. For example, my geometry teacher was speaking English, but it was all googly gook to me. Scrumptious. This is a little used synonym for delicious. For example, what a scrumptious meal. Kerfuffle. It is a lot of arguments, noisy activity or fuss. For example, her glasses were broken in the kerfuffle. Flamox. To confuse someone so much that they don't know what to do. For example, the complicated rules are likely to flamox new players. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringle Feliz Center. Where learning English is not an option. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, teacher. Please sit down. Thank, thank you. you. I brought an apple for you, teacher. Oh, thank you very much. I love this type of apple. Who are you, teacher? Oh, very well. Thank you for asking. That's so nice. Wait, teacher. You can now begin your class, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. That's very sweet of you to do that for me. Okay, so, where were we yesterday? Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Teacher, I love this. Why do you scream? Okay, students, great work today. Um, time to go home. Wait, Peter, we have homework. Yes, yes, we have homework. Oh. Yeah. In addition to the information you request, I collect information from the UNN and UTP libraries. Thank you very much. Good work. Excellent. Thanks, teacher. Excellent student. Teacher, I drew a picture for each topic. I hope you notice the ending. Wow, great artwork. You should be an artist. Excellent. Teacher, in addition to the homework, I use a typewriter to make it presentable, so I can improve my course grades and make it easier for you to read. Wow, well, it's really easy to read. Thank you so much for Thanks. being so thoughtful. Teacher, I finished this homework and I will happily do the next one as well. Oh, thank you very much. This is fantastic. Teacher, you can have hopes. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Wow, you guys are great students. So uh, you can go now and um, I'll see you in the morning. Enjoy your evening. Okay, everybody, bring me your homework. Come on. <clears throat> Please bring me your homework now. What do you mean? What homework? We didn't do anything. You say by the end of the month. Yes, teacher, you say yes, by the end of the month. I did my homework. 
¿Cuál? Pinner. Oh, Pinner was the the We hate you. Finally, somebody does something in this class. I you so much. We can dream that. Oh, I can tell you did a lot of work on that. Thank you, sir. That's why you're my favorite student. We hate you. We hate you. Wait, wait a minute. This is from Wikipedia. Uh -huh. It has the author's name and all the references. This is cheating. Yeah. Yes. Okay, everybody, please take out a sheet of paper. We're going to have a, a short test. Yes! I have been expected for this surprise exam for a long time, teacher. Teacher, but don't make the equations as easy as last time. They were pretty easy last time. Sorry about that. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay, <clears throat> take out a sheet of paper. Test. Today is a test, and I hope that you have studied. Come on, teacher, you didn't say that. You didn't say that. What <laughs> happened? You didn't let us know. I'm going to sue you for a psychological damage. Where is the makeup test going to be? Take out the sheet. Teacher, you are crazy. We are going to lose the year. Take yes. Out the sheet. Hi, I am Kerry. Hello, I am Mayra. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Culture Section. Today, we are going to talk about one of the oldest religious traditions in Loja, the pilgrimage of the Virgen del Cisne. Interesting. Could you tell us what is the origin of the faith to the Virgen del Cisne? The origin of the faith goes back to 1594, where a cisne was hit by a severe drought and pesting crops, causing famine among the locals. Some people made the desperate decision to leave their village. They reported that the Virgin Maria appeared in front of them and told them not to leave a cisne and to build a temple there. She promised to help them have food all year round. In this way, the church of our sacred Virgin del Cisne was built but not before having the sculpture. The original sculpture was carved in wood by the Spanish sculptor Diego Robles by more than 400 years ago. One of the conditions for stopping the drought was that the sculpture will not be moved from a cisne. But what happened if the population decide to move the sculpture of the cisne? Four centuries ago, the villagers decided to move from the cisne to another place. When they did, a series of natural disasters occurred. They understood that they should not be moved from there and they went back to El Cisne. The promise was fulfilled, the rain came, the pools grew green, and the hunger and the drought ended. We are still commemorating yeah. it today with a procession of thousands of people who walk fulfilling the traditional vows on all view for the privilege of carrying the sculpture for a moment during three days pilgrimage. That was the end of that section. We hope to see you again in another episode. Bye. Bye. Hello everyone. We are going to talk about the Liberator movie. I am Gabriela. I am Carolina. Gabriel, have you watched the movie The Liberator? I have. It is a chronicle of the life and times of Simón Bolívar. You are right. Simón Bolívar fought over 100 battles against the Spanish Empire in South America. 
He wrote over 70,000 miles on horseback. His military campaign covered twice the territory of Alexander the Great. His military campaign never conquered and liberated. The Liberator is set in South America at the turn of the 19th century, where the Spanish Empire ruled the region for 300 years, slaving Africans, massacring indigenous people, and crushing anyone who opposed the colonization. Bolivar was a wealthy young Venezuelan from a prestigious family, immune to the injustice suffered by most of his countrymen. But he believed in the idea of equality for all, thanks to the early teachings of his social tutor and his now family bonds to African slaves who raised him. When personal loss causes Bolivar to leave the family state, he finances a small military campaign against the power for the Spanish first, but he was a fate and was assigned to the young. He began to govern his races, tribes, neighboring states around the idea of a team for one united country that would expand much of Latin America. Bolivar and his people army crisscrossed the continent to change the course of history. Despite the many deaths, Bolivar managed to rally the troops with passionate speeches on freedom, equality, and dignity. The Liberator is romantic and sweeping and tells the story of the rise of the collective consciousness of a people. It is a breathtaking movie and a George you ought to watch. Thank you. That's all for today. We hope you liked it and learned something new. Thank you very much and until next time, be total fine.